Okay, so we've been called out to this valent system boiler today. It's a valent 637 Ecotech Plus. And the problem we're getting, we can't read it properly, but it's F28 and F54. So it's a startup failure. So start of failure, ignition unsuccessful. So the boiler basically failed to start. Let's reset it. Let's see what the boiler's doing. There is a demand both for heating and hot water, so. Just reset the boiler, it's going through its motion, trying to light it up, and it's gone off. Trying to light up again, and it's gone off. Trying it again. time and then it's just going to go to lockout. No, so yep, can light up F28 and F54. Could be a combination of things, could be spark electrode, it could be the gas valve, could be the PCB itself. So I've removed the cover now, removed the cover off the PCB as well. What I've done to it so far is I've got the U-gauge or electronic manometer connected to the inlet side of this gas valve. All I want to establish is whilst the boiler is going through its ignition sequence and it's trying to ignite whether it's actually using any gas at that stage or not. So that will confirm if the gas valve's opening. I've also got my multimeter ready I'm going to be checking the voltage on the gas valve itself to make sure that the PCB is sending the correct voltage to the gas valve to open up when it reaches the ignition sequence. Um, we're checking or we're going to be checking the voltage on two different points on this gas valve. So we've got this point here, this black connector. So that's got live and neutral or earth and live, whichever way you want to class it. Uh, and we should be receiving 22 volts DC uh, coming to this point here. And also, there is this white connected underneath it, and that's got a red and blue cable connected to it. And we also want to make sure that when the boiler is trying to ignite, we have 22 volts DC coming to this connector and then dropping down to roughly about 16 volts DC. So that's how to check it with the multimeter now these two cables these two and these two so both connectors are actually connected on the pcb in this white or cream connector uh, which is this one here so the very first two the blue and red that you see those first two at the top which is number one and number two from the top left one and two these are connected to this connector here and then we have these two points, this one and this one here. So one has a blue and black coupled together. And then right next to it is this red one. So these connectors are for this connector here. So we can use the same point for the continuity of this harness as well, as well as checking the voltage. We can check the voltage at this stage uh, on here or on the actual gas valve itself, depending on where you find it easy. On the gas valve, on these connectors, there are little points 
where you can take your multimeter probe to and you can check it there as well. I normally find it a lot easier to check on these connectors on the PCB itself. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And also, if you're checking it here, then obviously there is one thing left that you've checked the voltage here and PCB is sending the correct voltage possibly to these points. But what if your harness is knackered and the voltage is not actually reaching this point? So to, to determine that the harness is intact, you can do a quick continuity test. So that's what, that, that's what I'm going to be doing today. So let's just turn the boiler on. Okay, so as you can see, the gas pressure is 23.80 millibar. Let's turn the boiler on and see what the boiler does. So it's just going through a sequence now. Boiler has the demand. So start of failure, F28, changes to F54. Let's just reset it. Okay, so let's just quickly observe to see what's happening. So the boiler's going through its initial sequence now. I can hear the pump. I heard another relay clicking. We can hear the fan. I can hear the ignition. We can see the ignition. Let's just see it one more time. Yep, as you can see, we can see it that it's trying to ignite, but if you keep an eye on the pressure itself, it's trying to ignite again, pressure is not moving, which confirms that the gas valve is not opening. Why isn't it opening? Is it not getting power coming to it? Um, if there's no power coming to the gas valve, obviously it's not going to open, and then that will indicate that there is something wrong with the PCB. And if the power's coming to the gas valve and still not opening, then the PCB is doing its job. It's a faulty gas valve. So I'll try to check the voltages. It's difficult with one hand, but I'll try to demonstrate. Okay, so my meter is set to volts DC, as you can see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put one probe. So I'm using this white connector, as you can see, number one and number two, because I'm checking this top connector first to make sure 22 volts DC goes to it. So let's have a look. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to keep one probe in there. And then the second probe I'm going to try to hold. Okay, let's see. So we need to reset the boiler. So I'm just resetting the boiler next. Okay, so I've just managed to reset the boiler there. I'm holding this probe on number one and two. So let's see. Fan comes on, it's trying to ignite 22.05 volts DC. So we've got the voltage coming to this point. Let's just see it once more. Yeah, so the voltage is coming to this connector here, but it's actually coming out of the PCB. We haven't determined that it's actually coming to this connector here or not. But once we have done the continuity between this point and this connection here, that will confirm that. We can also just try to check it. No, it never fits in here. This probe that I've got is a bit too thick. If you can get a fine, en fine enough probe, you can just put it there or you can hold it on the sides of this connector as well and that will also confirm. It becomes a bit fiddly with one hand. No, so we're not gonna try it. We'll just do a quick continuity test between this point here and that point there. And that will confirm that the voltage that's coming out of here, if the cable is continuous, obviously reaching up to that point, then it's definitely got getting to that far as well. Okay, so we've checked one stage motor here or solenoid. We also need to check this bottom one as well, this white connector also. 
and this white one as I mentioned earlier is connected to the bottom end of this connector there which is let me just try to hold this up so the bottom white connector is connected to this these two points here okay so let's just put a probe in there try to put another probe in there okay and I'll reset the boiler again as you can see the pressure is still the same pressure is not budging If the probes are connected properly, we should receive around 21 point something and then dropping down to 16, 17 volts DC. So initial 21, 22 volts is to open it and then 16 is to hold it open, as you can see. So that confirms that the PCB is doing its job, but the gas valve, as you can see, is an opening. It's not using any gas, it's not passing any gas, hence we don't have any fire going on in there. Uh, so our problem today is the gas valve. I'm going to quickly check the continuity between this point and the connect connected uh, on the PCB as well as this connector and the PCB. I just want to make sure that these four cables, two cables here and two cables there, are intact and there's nothing wrong with the continuity of that. Uh, but it's Okay, so let's remove this gas valve then. I've removed all the electrical connections to it. So that goes at the bottom here, yellow one to yellow, black to black. So I've removed all three connections there. Uh, I've also removed the gas pipe from the top that just slides to the right. And this corrugated pipe is removed from underneath. That's got a washer on it as well. And then there is a screw holding it, holding the gas valve to the bracket from underneath, which is just this screw here. So you need to remove this screw that just holds it from underneath here. And then once you've got all of that removed, you should be able to just slide this valve out. So that's the old valve. fairly clean okay so that's our new box new gas valve that I've just picked up let's open it and see what's inside some paperwork some fiber washers Oh yeah, they've changed the branding on it as well. That's the old one. That's the new one. Okay, let's install it and find what we're gonna what we're gonna come across next. Hopefully, this will resolve the problem for us today. Let's see. Okay, so moment of truth. Then let's just turn the boiler back on. So we've got the new gas valve in, I've connected my gate to it, turned gas back on. I've got my gas flow analyzer ready and let's just turn it on. go through a sequence and let's see what we're going to find on the reading and if we can see through that inspection glass as well fingers crossed yay perfect so 
obviously yeah, it was a faulty gas valve as you can see this is what we should be getting when the gas valve opens up and there is fire or the boiler ignites I should say in a bit more technical term so in the pressure is perfectly fine boilers back on so I'm just going to do the safety checks to make sure that this gas valve is adjusted correctly using my gas flow analyzer and that's it job done thanks for watching if you have any questions please let me know and thanks a lot take care bye